But that was deceptively difficult. Let's go. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. <gasps> glutes, glutes, extend. That shit fucked me up. Come on, come on. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's up guys? This is the afternoon I spent with the great and powerful. And these are the chosen. Let's get into it. Wow. So we're doing, what the hell are we doing, Ben? Classic Monday ATG program, leg day. You ready? Fuck yeah, let's go. All right, we're starting with a, a push pull on the sled. Reach your toes all the way back. And go ahead and sweep this out of your way. Sweep this out of your way so it's out of the way of the feet. Now put the chest all the way in and you'll notice at some point you'll find an angle where the sled starts to move on its own. Yep. Okay, good. And now, now we're marching it, but we're thinking about that big toe fascia. Beautiful. So already like what you're doing now is very impressive. Now imagine someone with super fragile knees, just building, maybe they start out worse, just building where they can hold these angles. Yep. So this is, this is maybe the gentlest way to actually start restoring knees over toes. Feels so good. And then we're gonna do something similar here. Yeah. We've measured it off, so we're gonna stop at that line. Great. And now, same thing here, you'll get into a zone where it starts to move, sled starts to move. Good. And now you're reaching your toes behind your knees each step. Yep, exactly. So you're pushing through the toes, strong toes. And all you have to do, we're gonna be doing 10 rounds here, which will be 100 meters each way. You just keep your sled at my pace. If someone says, I want my parents to like have a great quality of life forever, yeah. sled. Yeah. But if they say, okay, also, I want a 40 inch vertical jump, yeah. sled. So it's less trauma, more blood flow, more stretching out of the foot and the ankle stop right there. Kelly Stretch calls the push the best Achilles health exercise. So you can see when we're pushing it, we're under a stretch, but we're under load at the same time. Do you, are you paying attention to position of the feet, more meter rotated, external, straight neutral? Whatever's natural, but it'll usually be more straight. Yeah. So someone with like a weak VMO, you might notice them turning inward. Yep. And over the 100 meters, we're almost gonna think 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We're gonna think to gradually increase. Yep. So notice we didn't do any, yep. We didn't do any warm-ups before this. This is, this the, warm -up. is the warm up. Yep. It's also the only form of cardio I do other than my weekly basketball game. I can already feel my yeah. my knees. Feel it coming in, the burn. Body, like, really, yeah, really right there, yep. Online. Yeah, here we go, nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, you just scoop that out of mine. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, yep. Hell yeah. So this is this is functional strength, exactly. You feel it in the quads? Oh yeah. So we're getting strength right there. Yep, now when we're pushing, it's foot and glute. Nice, right there, right there. Yep. Then we go backward, knee strength. Yep. Holy Yep. Shit. Let's go, we're just getting into it. Nice, we got four more, here we go. Here we go, there you go, there you go. Glutes. Right there, good. Yep, knees, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Feet and glutes, extend, extend. Keep chasing mine. Keep chasing mine. I'm a motherfucker once we get on this sled. Last two, last two. Glutes, glutes, extend. Last backwards. Let's go, come on, come on. That's the warm up. Holy shit. I would never think that'd be so hard. Does it make sense why I jump so high? Because I treat that the way other people care about their bench squat deadlift. Yeah. So if you could do that sled and would come back to the gym, then Ben would let you train at the gym. But so many people would puke in the middle of it or pass out. That was deceptively difficult. I staged my workouts sled first because if I got a call and I had to go right now, we still got a productive workout in. All right, what's next? Split squats. So now we're gonna keep the torso up and you're gonna think about two things at once. Stretching the back hip flexor while we try to get the front hamstring to cover the calf. Yep, chest up. Good, and then come back up. Good, that's it. Now as you go down, keep that chest up so you'll feel that left hip flexor stretch. You feel the left hip flexor? Absolutely. Yep, and then come back up, good. 
Look slightly up so your chest stays up. Yep. yep, keep the chest back. Yeah, there you go. Full hamstring, that's it. Good job. So it takes a ton of, of focus because we're stretching the back hip flexor and front ankle, front knee, that's it. But what takes a lot of focus is just the fact that we're stretching two different sides at once. Yep. One more time and we'll switch sides. Yep. That's it, good job. What I value about your approach is you're paying attention yep. to the mechanics of the whole body. Yep. And you're not just thinking knees, just thinking ankles. You're nice aware of, of, of maintaining integrity in, in the torso, yep. you, where your eyes are, are, are focused. Now for you and I, We'll do a simple three sets today, but we'll add weight on the second and third sets. So you can actually turn this into a strength exercise, but with that load, getting you more mobile. It's like a lot of people want like active glutes, yeah. but as long as the hip flexor is really tight, you can't really get the glutes to be as active. A common question in, you know, for knees over toes guy is, why don't you train the glutes or something? Sure. But as you see in any of my sessions, there's actually a lot of glutes, oh, yeah, starting with firing. that sled, yeah. starting with, so, Look at all the work I'm doing on the sled. Yeah. And then combined with my key exercise, being opening up those hip flexors. You're unlocking so, the potential for the glutes to be able to engage because you're opening yeah. up the front chain. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. And then the sled forms the foundation of a lot of reps without necessarily having to have load. Yeah. He is the best glutes I've ever seen of a girl <laughs> or guy I've ever seen. Gonna, girl or guy. We're gonna have if, to get a, a close up of Ben's glutes. Now, by holding them, this is actually this is actually easier than if we raise the center of gravity. You see what I mean? Yeah. So you can do either or, but just realize this, yeah. Just realize that having up here yeah. and then lengthen through that back hip flexor. Also the way we do this, we fully pause at the bottom. Yeah. So you can see like if you bounced out, you'd kind of be robbing the position we're trying to train. Yeah. The sled is already giving us that elastic strength through those like athletic positions. Yep. This, we're not trying to mimic sport. We're trying to hit what sport doesn't hit. Yep. Nice. And then set them down. Once we start loading, it's a good idea to rest between each side sure. because you're working both sides at once. So Mondays, I do this exercise. Thursdays, Thursdays is squats. So those are, those are my two leg days. One split squat, one squat, which totally scales by the way. Imagine if you just went through the sled at an easy pace, that would be great for recovery. What we did is we turned it into performance. Nice, nice. This is looking super strong. Just keep thinking the length and through those hip flexors. Nice, amazing form, good. I'm going to the base of the calf. So if you can crush the base, yeah. See, that's, insane. that's outstanding range, you see what I mean? So if you have a client, if you can go to the base of the calf and they can crush the finger, that's exceptional. What's up guys, I hope you dug that video. If you wanna go deeper into the mind of knees over toes guy, you can click on the link right there and that will take you to the entire podcast conversation that we filmed right after the workout. We filmed it here in Austin, Texas at Onnit HQ and uh, it's truly a, an epic conversation. We get into the, the history of Ben and some depression and things of the sort that he was dealing with. Uh, some of the theory around knees over toes, how exercise culture drifted away from that concept and deemed it to be dangerous, and uh, just a lot of good stuff. So if you want more about that, tune into the podcast, Align Podcast, and uh, if you want more content like this each week, press the subscribe button. If you got questions or comments or ideas, drop us a comment. We'll get back to you there. That's it. That's all. I'll be releasing content like this to you every week. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, I'll see you next week.